Recently, we witnessed something rarely seen, the actual birth of a climate denial crock, which took place in plain view. As always, this correspondent took careful notes. Early in September 2009, at a gathering of experts on global climate, one of the world's leading climate modelers made some observations on media, climate, and human nature. What you see here is just the globally average temperature during the 20th century. And uh, you can clearly identify the long-term warming trend. And we all believe that this long-term warming trend is anthropogenic in nature, is man-made. However, you see also a lot of fluctuations superimposed on this trend, interannual, as Tim has pointed out, uh, but also decadal. Now, people who know me, at least uh, my German colleagues, uh, uh, know that I do a lot of media work, okay? There is almost no day uh, in the year where I'm not called uh, by some media person, okay? And uh, so they basically think about global warming as a kind of slowly evolving process and a monotonic process, okay? So each year is warmer than the preceding year. However, we all know there is variability, okay? And this variability uh, may look like this. This has been actually derived from the 20th century by just removing some uh, exponential fit. And the two are, of course, superimposed, okay? And then the real evolution of, say, globally average temperature would look like this. And then you see right away, okay, it may well happen that you enter a decade or maybe even two you know, when the temperature cools, all right, relative to the present level, all right? And then, you know, I know what, what's going to happen, you know. I, I will get, you know, millions of phone calls, you know, uh, uh, what's going on. So uh, is global warming disappearing, you know? Have you lied on us, you know? Uh, so, uh, and therefore, this is the reason why we need to address the cicadal prediction issue. The message seemed clear. Natural variations in long-term warming might be misinterpreted by the media out of ignorance or malice. Climate deniers were quick to take Latif's remarks and begin doing exactly that. There's a fellow in Germany called uh, Moh Mohib Latif, and he is a, uh, one of the very first climate modelers in the world. In the mid-1980s, he developed supercomputer programs that would project the climate change through the future, depending on what variables you put in. And until very recently, all of his projections have shown continuous, steady warming of the climate until we get to dangerous warming near 2100. But last week in Geneva at a United Nations conference, Professor Latif said, well, you know, now that I can model ocean circulation better, the currents of the oceans better, it looks like we're heading for 10 to 20 years of cooling. It looks to me as though the general climate change theory is starting to fall apart as more and more variables are put into these giant models that the United Nations runs. But we've been told for probably five years at least now that anyone who disagrees with the, these views on global warming is in the pay of big oil, uh, they're an eccentric, they're part of some neoconservative agenda. You're speaking here of a man who, who is one of the creators of, of the, the general view on global warming, who's changing his mind a little. The leading climate leading model cli guy, the guy that has just backed out and said, yeah, sure, I was rogue. <laughs> He's from Germany. Do you have any more details uh, than this? Oh, you you don't know this story? Is this the sunspot one? No, no, no. No, no. But this that's is the good leading too. climate uh, modeling guy. I got his for the IPCC. Here. Get his name, Stu Um And uh, he has backed uh, out now and said we were wrong. We're going into thirty years of cooling at least right now. Yeah, at least one of Al Gore's most prominent allies in this global warming hysterical movement has just pulled off. Uh, pulled the rug out from the former pr uh, vice president, now says the world more likely faces decades of global cooling. Similar distortions were quickly spread to the mainstream media and hundreds of online sources. The observation that natural variability exists is not a new one. Scientists test climate models by doing hindcasts, using known variables to look at the previous century. Even here, 
different model runs produce variable results, although the main outlines track well with real-world observations. When we look at actual temperatures over the last three decades, we can see periods of flat or cooling temperatures lasting years, even within a clear overall warming. In a model run for the coming century, we see pauses and hiccups in the overall trend. It's not a prediction, it's confirmation that the model acts something like the real world. Uh, everybody who knows me uh, uh, is aware of the fact that I'm definitely not one of the skeptics, okay? And uh, if my name was not Mojib Latif, my name would be Global Warming, all right? However, you know, we have to ask the nasty questions ourselves, all right? Or some other people will do it. It's a truism of human nature that honesty, integrity, and openness are seen by evil and greedy men as weakness, something to be exploited and used. Shakespeare knew it, Socrates knew it, Jefferson knew it. The only remedy is to keep shining the light and telling the truth. When climate deniers spread misinformation and confusion, you can always come to where they will be unmasked here at Climate Denial Crock of the Week.